What's up guys, Gunnar here bringing you another player review and this time it's Inform Aaron Gunnarsson, the Icelandic midfielder who plays for Cardiff. So this is the team I played him in, got him as a cam in a 4-3-3 formation and this is another one of the Silver Series player reviews I was talking about. We had a Bonhoeffer, Zahar, etc and now we have Gunnarsson. So he's 5'10", medium attacking work rate, high defence work rate, right footed, three star weak foot, two star skill moves, played 30 games for me, managed to get me 14 goals and 8 assists which is not bad. I've also added the dead eye chemistry straight to him which gives him a plus three in his shooting and his passing. I always like to add that to my cams. I feel that's one of the better options to do because they're vital pulling all the strings. So how does he compare to his regular card? Well, his pace has gone up by one, his shooting and his heading have both gone up by two, and the biggest increase has been in his dribbling, defending and passing that have all gone up by three. And he's gone up by three points overall. So let's have a look at his in-game stats. And what you'll find out that his lowest stat is 56 and that is his penalties. Everything else is 60 or above. He's so well balanced. The standouts being his 81 ball control. He's also got 80 short pass as well. 78 shot power. 74 stand tackle. You know, he weighs 154 pounds. Can play as a CDM or a centre midfielder. But I decided to play him at camp. And he's got 67 acceleration, 81 agility, 81 strength, which really impressed me. And everything else there is in the 70s, 79 balance as well. And 93 aggression, he is very aggressive, 65 attacking position, and the others are in yellow as well. So you might wonder, what are my expectations of him? And I wasn't sure. It was one of those guys that was off my radar. I didn't even realize he had an inform until I built this squad. And I already had two beast midfielders with Diame and Wanyama. So when I looked for a third one, I decided, oh, let's put this guy in there. Gunnarsson and I decided to play him at Cam because he had the best passing out of a lot of them and he seemed best suited for the squad that I wanted to build and this guy was an absolute revelation at Cam and like you know he's so well balanced that's the key there isn't anything because you know I didn't take a penalty with him so everything else was 60 or above and for a silver that's outstanding so what I found him useful for and what are the things that you're going to be looking at from this guy so what he is he's got decent dribbling he's got you know so he's decent balance as well and he can just weave in and out like there you see him just like weaving in and out of all those defenders and then putting the shot against the post what else i liked about him was is that his finishing was really good as well so he like would arrive late into the box normally wouldn't be the first man in there but he had this knack of arriving at the right time just to put the ball in the back of the net when you needed someone to so he's got like a medium attacking work rate and I think due to that, that helped him out with that really. And what I found out as well is that, you know, he's decent on his right foot and his left foot is not as bad. It felt more like a four star um, weak foot rather than a three star one. But he was just involved, you know, he's just there like just poaching in the box as well sometimes and that's what I wanted from him you know you want your cams to be getting involved either creating or getting on the end of things as well so look at that look at that movement as well just to chase the ball over the top and when the striker is a little bit deep then he has the like you know the movement and the ability just to move on beyond them what I found out as well is that he is strong he's a strong guy you know 81 strength and he will mix it with those midfielders not quite as strong as some of the hulking centre mids that you come up against but strong enough there look at that just holds off the defenders and plays a perfect pass through for Zahar to put in the back of the net. What I liked about him was is that he's really versatile so he can do a job equally well at CDM, at centre midfielder or at cam for you. He does it equally all three. And the other thing as well, he's got a fantastic range of passing, got me so many assists and cropped up with some goals as well which is fantastic. So the other things you've got to be aware of just from the slightly negative side is that he's only got two star skill moves and as well you know he's not the quickest so he's not going to get on the end of very much when overlapping or making those runs. So let's review overall. He's so well balanced. You know, all his stats were 60 or above, and that's great for a silver. He's got, apart from penalties, of course, don't forget that. He's got good strength at 81, so he can mix it. He's got a great range of passing as well, and he's a quality finisher when he does get in the positions. And his weak foot didn't feel as bad as free star. He plays equally well at CDM, centre midfielder, or cam. The things you've got to be aware of, not the quickest, and only has two star skill moves. For your skillers out there, he's not going to be your go-to guy. But that's it, guys. I really enjoyed using him. He did a great job for me, as you can see by the stats. He give him an 8.25 out of 10 and that's it guys if you like this review leave a like below comment subscribe and thanks for watching